I recently got into LEGO Speed Champions and got this, the 2024 McLaren F1 car. I also got the Mustang Dark Horse. And as I'm starting to get a bit of a collection of these, I wanted to display them somewhere in my office. I've currently got these two pegboards either side of my desk that I use to display things that I make. You have the Mandalorian Starfighter on one of them and I'm keen to do something similar. I made these universal brackets before and they kind of work well and could do the job. They actually hold it at quite a nice angle. I want to design it so that the cars aren't like that, although that would be quite cool. I kind of want them to sit flat so that they kind of look like they're in some sort of stacked parking garage. So that's the sort of idea I'm going to go with. But I am going to use these as the starting point as I think they work quite well. Think of some sort of platform that would sit on these brackets. I think I use some sort of slot system along here so that you could slot a platform in and have them sat here so they're kind of stacked multiple ones on one board. By the way, this is the IKEA Scardis pegboard if you're interested. So with all those considerations in mind, I'm going to jump into Fusion 360 and model something up. If you want to know a bit more about how I model things in Fusion 360, let me know if a comment down below and I'll do another video about it in the future. I'm just going to put this section here, not the whole thing because I don't want to waste film in it if it doesn't work, and check that the rail that I put in here works and that the minifigure fits on there okay. So I use Bamboo Studio as my slicer. I tend to use the standard 0.2 layer height for my files. I think that works pretty well when I use the standard settings unless I need to change them. And this part's only going to cost me 69p. And now I'm sending it to the printer. I'm going to be printing all my parts on the Bamboo P1S which I recently got. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for a reliable printer that just works. I also made sure when I was designing them that they won't require any supports. I printed off these two test pieces rather than printing the whole platform. I thought it would be easier just to test a little bit and check that my sliding mechanism works. It's pretty strong to me. I'll test that a minifigure fits on there. Fits okay, but I think he's a bit loose, so I'll tighten that up on the next point when I do a full piece. I can also use this to check the fit on the board. To work well. I've updated the fit of the uh, minifigure stand and the uh, rail system so now I think we're going to print the whole thing and see how it fits. Again jumping into Bamboo Studio getting the parts positioned on the plate
So the cost of the final part in filament is £1.70. So this is done now. This is fresh off the printer. And he fits on there a lot more securely. So I think that looks pretty cool. I'll print off a whole bunch of them and see what they look like on the board. So I think if you wanted to, you could stack them all much closer and it will still work. I think if you space them like this on the board, which still gives you enough room to take them in and out, you could fit 12 on this small one that IKEA do. And if you have the bigger one, you can fit much more. I think this is the sort of optimum spacing that you want to do use them for. So I think these came together pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I might at some point make them look a bit cooler. Um, it's probably something I can do to this platform to make it look a bit more interesting. Um, but yeah, if you like them, I'll, I'll link the file down below where you can download them. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing, pressing the like button. Um, I'll make more like this in the future. Also, let me know if you want to see more in-depth Fusion 360 videos. I know I kind of skipped over that, how I did it, but I can do a more in-depth dive at some point if that'd be interest to anyone. Thanks.